So guys, welcome back to The Hunter. In today's episode, we're not going to be doing anything too special. Like you guys saw on the very first episode we did of The Hunter, we're going to be doing a full day's worth of hunting. Now, in that video, we were over at Leighton Lake. In this one, we're on Hirschfelden. So we're kind of just going to see what comes along and see what animals we can take down. But first, we're going to take a bit of a detour because we're right here at the very, very top of this mountain. And by the way, I've got to say, I've just seen it while we're traveling up here with Taco. The vistas you get on this map, I'd say probably match Leighton Lake, even though I'm going to say Leighton Lake is probably my favorite map. I don't know what yours is, Taco. What's yours? Leighton Lake. It is? Far, is that because yeah, it's yeah. closer to home? Uh, possibly. I think it's more the fact that uh, I like the rough terrain versus the paved roads. That's, so it's not a totally biased opinion. Oh, wait, wait, freeze. Got a couple of squirrels going ape shit. Okay, I killed it. Don't worry. I saved your life. You can thank me later. Appreciate but it. Appreciate this it. This is what rad. we're going to do. We're going to come down from this mountain. We're going to try and go through the terrain, whatever it brings along. We have no idea what to expect, but go down this all the way through to this, whatever this question mark is. If you didn't know, there was a huge update uh, quite a while ago. I think it was like two updates ago where they changed a whole bunch of stuff over on the maps where they brought new things in, new outposts as well, which you can see down at the south of the map, which I still haven't discovered. Now, if you guys have actually got the Hunter Call of the Wild, I've got some cool news for you all. If you want to play with your friends or even if you have played with friends, the multiplayer is going to get an update where if you're in a game with someone, they can actually claim the same outposts and pick up things like the antlers that you find around the map. That is coming to the game. You've just got to be a little bit patient, but the devs did say in their previous live stream that if you haven't been to, I will leave a link in the description where you can get all the information from, but they did say that they're going to be updating that into the game, which will be really cool. So, all right, we're ready, Taco. We're going down this hill. What are you doing? What are you about to yep. shoot? Nothing. I was just making sure that it was dead. You're making sure that the deadly squirrel was dead? Oh, there's another one here. I'll get him. Oh, you missed! What? No, oh, no dead. he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He, is. <laughs> he was just the adrenaline. You should yeah. be able to claim these. That'd be a really cool skin to take. Like a red... He's a, it's a, a, a really fat squirrel as well. Alright. Alright, let's go. You can lead the way, because if anything goes wrong, you, uh, I can see it from your perspective first. Now, before we go down the hill, guys, real quick, the reason why you probably see a lot of transitions or cutscenes in between us being on the ATVs is they are releasing an update where they lower the volume of the ATVs, because right now, as of us recording this video, they are so loud, we can barely hear ourselves over it. In fact, I've got my volume turned down in-game to, like, 10. It's the one preset before you turn the volume off. That's how loud the ATVs are. So if you don't hear us talking, that's why. But once we get down there, we'll be back with you guys.
little bit older, a little bit wiser, but we made it. Outpost unlocked. Oh, there it is. Red deer, it's a male. Now, one of the things you guys need to know while we're trying to lure this animal in is in one of the videos that we recently did, which was the shooting range, there was something that I didn't realize. And I have seen the comments. And in fact, I knew immediately after the video came out because Taco watched the video and he basically read me the riot act that I should have already, know, already known this. When you use your scope, if you use your scroll wheel, this magic thing happens where you can zoom. And I never knew that. But in my magic. defense, in my defense, if I was hitting those type of shots without the scroll wheel, imagine what kind of force of nature are going to be, Taco, now that I know you can <laughs> scroll in. <laughs> right? Oh, wait, I can hear it. There it is. Uh, yep, here it comes. I have no visual. Coming from the north behind. There's a female there, and then there's one coming right behind it. Oh yeah, I see one right in front of the, the thing here. Have you got the male? Not yet. Female's going out of visual. I think the male is dancing around behind the outpost right now. Oh no, I see him, I see him. He's quite far away, but... I see him right here. No, he's right here, right next to the outpost. Oh, he is. Oh, he's right inside of the outpost. What kind of shit is this? Right, so should we do the countdown? Yep. Right, three, two, one. <laughs> Sorry, I, I completely messed that up. <laughs> i tell you why. Because he changed his position, and I was like, wait, are you going to get a shot there? Definitely. Yeah, he we'd... twisted on me too, and then I was just waiting for you to fire, so... I heard a ding. We definitely hit, though. wonder if the female's still in the area. I don't know if they've changed the graphics, but... There was, like, a lot more texture cut, unless I've just never seen the red deer before. Right, let's see. 203, 233 kilograms. Bone hit. Nice. Okay. Oh, he's charging. Oh, he hit me as well. He's pissed. He's, he's down. He's down. He got Good a final him. hit in before, before he went down. How many credits have you got? What do you mean credits? Uh, if you press oh, escape, top left. Money. Uh, 44,000. Okay. So I can claim this then. Yeah, 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 yeah. You claim whatever. It's uh, I got a ton. I have everything bought too. So okay, all right, cool. Somebody actually sent me a message the other day as well. Somebody found a albino moose. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody found it. I've never seen one. I have. I don't have a full albino. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a partial albino. It looks like um, almost like a cow, white, and then with some dark spots all over it. But it had a special name to it. <clears throat> what, did that show up on the trophy as well when you got it? Yep. Yep. Nice. How many um, specials are there in the game? I know there's the albino, there's the... Um, what was the other one you were talking about? You, I think it was a bear one, wasn't it? You said, like, specific uh, cinnamon, oh, is it? Uh, cinnamon, yeah. Yep. Well, I think cinnamon's a common color, but... Uh, uh, because there's a there's actual a mission that you have to get a cinnamon cinnamon bear, so they're just not super common, but they're not unique like the albinos. Right. I think the most unique are the albino stuff, and then uh, then you got top tier level stuff, which is diamond. I was just about to ask if you have got a diamond kill yet, and what was it? Yeah, it was an elk. It was on a mission actually too. It was a lucky shot too, because the thing started running on me and it popped it off and dropped it right there. What did you but say? Yeah. It wasn't elk. Elk, yep. 
Oh, nice. Those things don't go down easy either. All right, so let's plan our um, let's plan our attack. Which way are we going? Should we go east from here and go across the lake towards uh, Ritterstein, or should we go south? Um, I don't know where the crossing is. We probably have to go down river a little ways because I think it's pretty deep. Um, see, there's a question mark right in the middle of the water there, very east yep. of us. Yep. Yeah, you got to go around and up to get to that. It's on a dock. Okay. Right, I'll tell you what then. Let's just follow the road all the way down back to where we came up through this split and then kind of head south or um, okay. southwest towards Ernsdorf because where's that? I wanted to find that castle and show everybody at home that, that really cool... Oh, I think I know where it is. I think it's like just north of Spreeburg. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's a lookout. That's another lookout. Yeah, yeah. Castles. All right, let's head towards there then and let's see what we can find on the way. <laughs> Taco, we got Doris. They usually travel in groups. <sighs> oh, wait. Well, you had a deer run right behind you. This female, not worth grabbing. That, I'm not joking. Like, I, I'm pretty sure that I caught that on the video as well. That pig looked really fat. <laughs> like, really fat. Yeah. Yeah, some of them are huge. Some of them are really big. That deer really did some damage. The deers hate me today in this game. Oh, wait. Okay, I see a buck. Oh, Taco, come to me. Oh, my God, come to me quick. Be quiet if you can. There is literally... A full herd of <laughs> of the pigs. Nope. Wait, how do you? Is it which one did I change my binoculars to? Yeah, it's the red deer. I saw a buck just a second ago, but I don't know where he went. You can see them. They're moving to the right. Yeah, yep. Oh wait, we might get them on the road here. Where did they go? Big boulder in my way, I can't see. I can hear something to our right, by the way. Oh, here's a pig right here, staring right at me. Oh yeah, I see it. They go down. Uh, it ran towards me a little bit and turned around. Give it a, let's see if it dies out. I think I might have shot a little too far forward on it. I have no idea where all those deer went. Also. Everyone watching this video is now witness to you shooting Doris. So you can never blame me for shooting a pig in this game ever again. 
Uh, I didn't shoot Doris. Did I say there's a Doris? I said yes, no. There's did. A pig. No, there's I know. A pig. I know what you would say. You said there's a Doris right in these, front of us. These these are the evil versions of. Uh, these are her evil cousins. <laughs> she asked me to take care of them for. Her. Ran down. Let's see. Uh, it's down there, Taco. I see the body. Okay, yep, see it. See it in between the rocks. Yep. Want to claim it? Go ahead. No, no, you grab it, dude. It's your kill. Nope. Oh. Okay, there's the that that's the male. I wouldn't mind taking that down. Bronze. That wasn't too bad of a shot. Great long. Okay, I see the dead. I see the dead. They're on the um, just on the ridge at the end. The uh, my spray and then the red deer collar. Oh wait, there's another piggy coming in. Wait, did I just? I think I might have got lucky with that shot. I think I might have clipped it in the chest. Same thing just above the left shoulder blade. Oh no, he's stuck. Okay, he's down. It's a messy kill, but I got a pig. Recorded, you just killed Doris. No, this wasn't Doris, this was uh... This was some of the uh, vermin that Doris wanted me to take care of. These are her evil cousins. Right, scapula, right lung, 98% shot on the first one. See, also, since me and you go into the live streams quite a lot for um, for the devs, whenever I ask the uh, the producer of the game about why doesn't they put a Bigfoot in, in, in Call of the Wild? They all, I don't know if he's trolling by saying, um, haven't you seen yep. it yet? Or if right. he's doing it to throw me off the scent. Because n I'm not joking. I've seen him say that to other people too in the chat. So I don't know if it's just like a, there actually is a Bigfoot Easter egg in the game and just nobody's found it yet. Or he's just, you know, trying to throw people no, off I the think scent. It's more of a, yeah, I think it's just a, more of a troll than anything. Either that or maybe they have an idea of throwing it in there. <laughs> is maybe like an April Fools or a If they put that Halloween in the game, thing. I just want everybody to know throughout the world of everybody playing Hunter Call of the Wild, I was the one that hounded producer Phil. <laughs> and if you know who producer Phil is, I was the one that hounded him to put the Bigfoot in the game, okay? And if you find the Bigfoot, the Bigfoot's called Fooster, all right? So just wanted you guys to know. Here we go. Let's move. Oh yeah, there's a different one. There's one between us and there's one above me. I don't even see the one between us where the car came from. Yeah, right below me somewhere. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. They're like talking to each other. It's really howling, isn't it? I, I'm just not getting the car up here, so... No reference to where, where it is. Yeah, directly below me is the closer one. I'm hearing it, I just can't, like, I'm just getting no, oh wait, I got that, I got the road deer, but I didn't get the, the fox. Yeah, I heard the road deer too. I'll move in, I just won't, won't use sprint at all.
Oh, it's close. I can hear it stepping, but it's like uh, treating me like we would an H1 and right behind that ridge. <laughs> Oh, okay, I got that. Yep, that's the third one, I think. I don't know, I may have spooked the one that was down in these rocks to move up over that hill because I can see the trail going through the rocks up to the hill. I'm gonna go ahead and do the if, distress yeah, if you, collar. If you can get it to come back to you, if it has to go on that ridge and it'll give me a clear line of sight for a uh, side shot. I'm assuming because it's staying so quiet, it's probably moving towards you. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. It's a road here. That's close too. Mm. Oh, there's the fax. I have no visual. Take a shot if you got it. Over this ridge. Get a hit. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, there's another one rolling out. That's cool. So there was, so there was two that that kind of met each other up from from the vocalizations they were doing. Yep. Thanks. So that's really cool. Yep. There's the other one going right now. What did you tag them both, or was it was it a single one you got? A uh, single one. The other ones running right by it right now. I'm gonna try to take a shot. Long ways away. <clears throat> well, if I hit the second one or not. Oh yeah, Dead it sprint. came down this valley here, came down to those rocks, and then as soon as you started calling, it came, it doubled back on itself, up towards you. They're really skittish, yeah. aren't they, these, uh, the foxes in the game? Yeah, the fox and the coyote are both. I think the foxes are more skittish than the, uh, the, coyote, the coyotes, though. Nice kill. Yeah, I think my first shot, I hit the rock underneath it. Yeah, you can see the tracks of the other one making yeah. off. And the other one ran right through here. Did you tag the other one? I think so. Oh, you did? Or, nice. no, I did no, this, or, wait, what do I got? The red oh, deer is, tag right Oh, is there. this a feeding area? Or did you... Wait, what? I don't know. I'm wait, trying to figure that out myself. Are these, are these fresh kills from the foxes? Possibly, yeah. Because I mean, I don't. I didn't shoot those. See, because I don't know. I don't know why they're dead. You know, why else it would be dead there? Yeah, normally we'd see like a feeding area, wouldn't we? Like, like the uh, dead rabbits. Yeah, the dead rabbits, and normally like the grass from from the other animals as well. Basically, for everyone at home who doesn't understand what we're trying to work out right now, normally when you see these things here, which you know the flashing grass, it's it's normally a clue where something like that pops up, the feed zone. And for the uh, coyotes or the foxes, you normally see rabbits or, I assume in this map, it'd be the squir squirrels. Um, I just got another call. Okay, that's a roe deer. I actually see it too. I'm gonna take a shot. Yep. Let me get my breath back. Come on, keep going. Keep going down. It's a pretty good hit. Okay, so I know roughly where it is. But yeah, like, I've never seen that before. Wait, let me just check that again. So... See, it says there's... It's popping up with the feed zone here, but it's not... 
actually registering. So maybe it is a feed zone. It's just not popping up on this map. Either that or the uh, other foxes have just killed these things. That's really cool. If they've implemented a way of where they see the animals are actually hunting and stuff, I'd really like that in this game. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'd actually see them uh, docking legit. something. Yep. But yeah, I did end up getting the second one. I hit it twice. First, first shot was only for 21%. So. Okay guys, so we're back, and this is something that me and Taco stumbled across way, way, way before the ATVs were even a thing in this game. And just to give you guys a bit of an idea of how long these videos take to make, like when we were traveling across country, we started down, where was it Taco? It was right at the bottom right, wasn't it, at uh, Rathenfelt. Yep. So we started all the way down here. And then we would trek all the way through the roads, kind of sticking to the road or somewhat trying to, then going over the bridges all the way around and then kind of hooking back through the middle of the map. I mean, you can kind of see the outlines of where we've been before. And that's all through walking as well. And then we stumbled across this. If you're wondering where this place is, by the way, it's here on the map. I'll zoom out so you guys can see. This area right here. But it's so cool. Like, I'll give you guys a bit of a background on what it is as well. I don't think you can click it again. Wait, let me see if I can find it. If we go into Codex... Uh, Central Europe, Landmarks, Spreeberg Castle, there we go. Spreeberg Castle is possibly the reserve's most famous landmark situated on the east side of Spreeberg Lake at the center of the reserve. The castle was the seat of the Lords, I'm going to butcher this, but Königsberg? Königsberg? It appears to be the first mentioned in sources indirectly at the beginning of 1225. So which is really cool as well is they give a little bit of a history lesson as to the actual landmark as to not just plot something in the middle of a map. They, uh, they try and paint a bit of a picture for it, too. And when you actually come inside this place as well, it leaves it to your imaginations to what you kind of think what could have gone here. 1225, so... I mean, I'm guessing, like, medieval knights and stuff? Mm-hmm. Well, there's still bars on the windows and things like that. What would be really cool, if by any chance there's any devs that watch these videos, what would be so sick... And I don't know if you feel the same, Taco, would be just a way of making, like... I mean, I'm not talking about the whole crafting thing, because at heart, I mean, we've said it before, this is a hunting sim uh, hunting simulator, I guess, more than anything. But, <clears throat> like, just a way of being able to put, like, a campfire down and, like, maybe stay inside the castle walls and stuff, you know? It'd just be so sick. Well, you sort of can. I don't know. You should be able to place a tent here, I would think. Wait, should we try it? Right, yeah. so if I go to... Inventory and then go to tents. Where is it? There it is. Drag that to number five. 
Right, is it gonna... Oh, he's gonna place. Where should we put it? Like, right there? It won't go on a flat ground. It'll... Wait. Wait, why didn't that place? Oh, it's not gonna let me place. Do I have to hold it? No, it's not gonna let me place. Let's try somewhere else. What about like Maybe try one of these like flat areas here? <gasps> I went with the pink tent too. Look how beautiful it is. Look at this. But like even even so, even what I was saying just then, just like a campfire or something, and maybe some food. You know, just to get that hunting. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Sticking your head through the tent. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it'd be cool though, like a campfire and stuff, a couple of chairs, staying inside the walls of this castle. Last oh, time yeah, we were here as well. It's been days and something like this, just looking at it. What in real life? Yeah. I know it'd be amazing, wouldn't walking it? Walking around. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe not days, but a long time. I'd love to visit something like this. We don't have anything like this in the U.S. Oh yeah, that's right. You don't really have like a a, um, a history of castles and stuff, do you? Like. We do in uh, Europe. No, no, no. Native Americans, you know. Well, I mean, you had South America or Middle America, and you got like uh, Inca stuff, but um, you know, it's still it's not like this. See, but that stuff fascinates me because obviously I didn't grow up with all that kind of education because it wasn't part of my history. Then obviously, since I've been growing up, I think that's that's like so cool to learn about all that stuff. Last time we were here, though. Uh, Taco, come to me. Let's see if we can do it again. Was it this one we did it? We used a boost system, which you can oh, kind of yeah. do in a lot of games. See if you can do it. If 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 I become your like ladder system, you up? <laughs> Look at that. Be so cool to spend in the night here as well, like. I know I've said it a million times, and I'm going to keep saying it until they do it. Hopefully, I'm going to pester them enough to, to the point where they, they do release this game to be able to be modded. But something like... I know it's been overdone, but this game would be perfect for it. Something like a Zombies mod. Like, fortifying this area up, and like just taking, taking positions on the edge of the castle walls. Seeing a horde of zombies coming through the tree line or something. Yeah, zombies in this game, that'd be eerie. It'd be terrifying, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, as good of a graphics as they have, you'd have to think the zombies would be insane too. Right. So, oh, I yeah. mean, they wouldn't necessarily have to be over the top insane. I mean, but because the the environment would complement them. But there's it's got so much potential because they've done such a good job, like with the backbone of the game. Devs. Please open this game up to be modded. It's crying out for it. If if they, if you do that, it will propel your game to a new level. It won't take anything away from the core of it being a, uh, a hunting simulator, which I'm sure most people enjoy it for being that, and the option's still there for people to play that. But if you let people mod your game, the, the there's just no limits to what you could do with a map like this, or even Leighton Lake. So this is something else that you guys might not know about. Again, if you want to know where it is on the map, it's literally the very, very south. The best way to find it is look for, I think it's Sconfelt or Schonfelt. Um, literally right in the middle of these two outposts. And it's the landmark right there. And if you guys are interested in stuff like World War II and things, then you may want to come and visit this part of the map because there's just a couple of what look like remnants of bunkers. I don't think you can go in. I don't. In fact, yeah, we couldn't go inside them last time, could we, Taco? Oh wait, oh, could we go so. inside them? Because there was something on the top. I don't know if it was in. Was it this game? I might be drunk. I'm sure we saw a hatch somewhere. It might be in this one. But again, another thing that is really cool in Hunter: Call of the Wild, they give a backstory to it. So if we go to Codex, Central Europe, Landmarks, and there it is. So hidden amongst the trees lies this bunker used by the Germans during World War One. Okay, I thought it was World War Two, but it's actually World War One. So going even further back in history. But I'm I'm pretty sure that I saw a hatch or something last time we was here. Because 
I made a reference to uh, Lost. Is there none? Hmm. No, well, I know you can't go on these ones. These ones, like, if you look through the portholes, um, they're just completely blacked off. Like, you can see in them a little ways, and it's just concrete back behind them, so... Uh, you can go in the caves, I know that. It'd be so cool if you could go inside them. Yeah, it would be neat to even be able to hunt out of them, you know, use them like a... Yeah. Old blind. Yeah. That, that... See... Not only that though, like I'm I'm a bit of a history buff, so anything like World War One, World War Two related and things like that. I'm not just talking war, anything anything that sounds cool. I mean I've said it a million times in the videos on the channel, but like just being able to explore it. I think yeah, it'd be really yeah, cool. Oh those, wait, one this one's it. This is it, I'm sure. Yeah, this th okay, okay, it's not it, I thought it was a hatch. <laughs> it's not, it's just uh it just looks like a hatch. Yeah, I'm the same way though. When it comes to you go inside of an old building or a place like this, and you just if walls could talk, the experiences that just the building it, itself had. Right. <clears throat> like if you look at the front of this bunker, like, I don't know if they've gone for this effect. It, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, that can't just be erosion or corrosion. Oh, you mean like the pits and stuff on it? Wait, yeah, like did, a. They look like bullet marks to you. Yeah, it looks like you know over time. Yeah, bullets. And then, I mean, they did a good job designing it because it looks like, you know, you hit it with a bullet and then over the years, over the last, you know, 100 years, almost 100 years. Yeah. I mean, going yeah, way off topic one. for a second here, and I mean, we'll, we'll get back to the hunting in a second, guys. I mean, to be honest, we've seen quite a lot of animals, but they've just been running away from the ATVs. But just put yourself in the position of someone that had to be stationed at one of these bunkers. I mean... Your sole job. Oh, there's, wait, 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 look to your left. Yeah, I was just checking them out. I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> yeah, this one's laying on its side again, and this one's standing up. So I, I think they might be glitched out. Something possibly. wrong in the game? No, you know where it is? Well, you your shot that one. Your knees are completely sunk into the ground. Just jump. <laughs> You're in quicksand. That's what happened to him. You know, yeah, they get stuck in the quicksand. Wait, no, no, yeah. actually, I've got a more plausible reason as to what happened to these squirrels. And you already know where it is, Taco. Yep, I don't even, need to, don't even need to say, you yeah, don't need to yeah. say the word. <laughs> but back to what I was saying, like, I mean, even to you, Taco, just if, if your sole job, if somebody came up to you, I mean, in the hierarchy of, of, uh, of, of the military and stuff, if they said, you hold this bunker with your life, no matter what comes this way, tanks, air support, infantry, anything. If this bunker gets taken, you're as good as dead. You know? Mm -hmm. how The fear that must have been... I mean, a lot of them as well. I mean, I don't know if you know your World War history, but a lot of the infantry at the time, they were in their teens or early 20s at the time. Oh, yeah. The fear that must have been in... And I'm not trying to put a very sad touch on the video... It's just like incredible the history that shaped the world we know. I don't know. Yeah, especially World War One, where you're just—I mean—you're tossed all over, you know, anywhere to Africa to, you know, mm -hmm. Germany or. It's crazy, isn't and, it? And you know, either way, you're in hell. You know, it's either you're it's boiling hot or up here, you know, in the middle of winter, it's freezing cold, or yep. you know, the, the Alps. And I mean, back then as well, they wouldn't have had the immunities that we have now, like. Just, just a simple. I mean, something as simple as running water and things. You know, they'd have to get supplies and things and enable, especially to a, an area as remote as this. Hmm. I was watching. I actually, I've been watching um, a documentary on World War One, and uh, I guess like in some of the trench warfare, like the Germans versus uh, uh, whatever the the Allies. Yeah. They they came to like in some areas where the fighting was basically nothing you know it just depends on who's in charge and stuff they would say all right we're, we've been ordered they'd tell the other side hey we've been ordered that we get we're, we gotta start lobbing some grenades we're gonna do it at this time tonight so prepare yourself so, so basically they would uh treat each other with respect and you know not even um uh or they they'd try not to kill each other basically and just give each other a heads up hey our general or our, our sergeant is telling us we have to 
raid you guys tonight, so be prepared, clear out the area. <laughs> well, it's like that um, very fair. I, I'm going to completely forget it, of course, because I'm recording a video now and I always do this, but it was like... Um, I don't know if it was the the Battle of Verdun. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna mix it up. But someone in the comments is gonna let me know. Either way, I'll be interested to read it because I've probably forgotten it by now. But, um, in, I'm I'm almost certain it was World War One, um, when the uh, when the fighting was going on. There was almost a pardon at Christmas time, where you know, um, they almost came together the two sides. And mm -hmm. like had a pardon at, 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 on Christmas Day. I think they, they, over in uh, in England there was a very famous uh, commercial as well, which which showed it like the beauty of Christmas and stuff, where uh, both sides were you know killing each other and things like that. And then at Christmas time they spent the day with each other, and then as soon as Christmas was out of the way, it was back to business, you know, fighting for territory and stuff, which it's just incredible. I mean, again, mm -hmm. guys, everyone watching the video. This is just kind of stuff me and Taco talk about in between the stuff that I normally transition through. But, you know, it's, it's kind of cool to involve you guys in it as well. If you guys have got an opinion and it's, you know, it's not going to offend anyone, then feel free in the comments. If you guys know anything about, you know, World War Two, World War One and stuff, or maybe something, if there's any history buffs out there that you can teach us some new knowledge, then let us know in the comments. But I thought I would show you guys this. And it's the very, very south of the map. And this is where you find it. Oh, hello. Okay, we got one, two, three pigs. I'm not seeing the deer, though. Okay, I'm seeing the deer now. Are you seeing how many pigs are here? Getting up to the ridge. What do we go for here? Do we go for the, do we go for that buck or do we go for those piggies? The buck. Uh, oh, the books. Oh, they just took off. Just been. What spooked. the heck did that take off from? Right, let me see if I can use the uh, cry of the war pig. That was a that was a small buck, anyways. It had very little, for antler wise. Wait, why is my cry of the war pig not working? This one. There we go. Come on, piggies. Oh, they're coming Ooh, in. On the ridge. Uh, far end there. This one seems interested. The wind is blowing their direction. I'm going to spray. Cover up. Oh, we got two. If you've got a good shot of that close one, I've got the furthest one. That that one's got like a little little bit of hair on his head as well. He's got like a little red hair. Yeah, I see the one walking away. They're both walking away right now, right? Oh, the deer's come back yep. too. Yeah, it's a small, small buck. Let's leave the deer. Yeah. Right. Tell me when you're ready. We'll just take the shots on the pigs. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Three, two... One, shoot. I know I hit one. I definitely hit yeah, mine. Yeah, I definitely hit mine too. I just uh, was trying to drop it farther. So, the blood splat should be parallel. Cause last time we did this, it was really weird. It was like the animal didn't start to bleed until it started running away. But I never said anything in the video. It was only when I was uh, editing it I realized that. So yours was the closer one. Yeah, look, there's no blood splats. Yeah, this is what makes it really difficult to track which pig you just had. Oh, there we go. Okay, I've got. A th I'm, ass I'm assuming this one's mine. I see one down. Yeah, there's, the there's one down here. That, but surely then, the, if you hit the other side, I mean, if you hit the other one, that should be down around this area too. Okay, this one was mine. I got it in the right lung. Male, 143.43 kilograms. Fur types common. Mine did a funny uh, little 
staggered glitch thing when I took my second shot, so. Are the pigs considered vermin? I suppose they are, aren't they, in this? Yeah, most pigs are. They're pests. Doris isn't a pest. Oh, freeze. Oh, it was a kill shot. Yeah, it was. Nice. And there is a, a fox, fox over here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I see it, I see it. Did you get it? I think it went down. Down the hill. On. Vanished. Okay, confirmed trophy. So we've got a... Oh, it was a male too. It just must have been a really young, really young deer. 23.28 kilograms, common. Um, trophy rating 93. Flesh right lung. Did you get your uh, fox? Um, tracking it right now. There was uh, more than one fox over here too. Oh yeah. Oh, oh there's another one. Now this time. Get that one. Hopefully I'm going to lead this other one into you because I, I took a bit of a wide flank. Here's the first one I killed. That one should be up there somewhere. Wait, where'd it go? There it is. Oh man. Thing glitched into the rock. There's no way I would have found it if I didn't find the track. Silver. Oh yes, yeah. Died inside the rock. So where did that other one go then? Because that was right. And the other one was up here. Here it is. There's the. Oh man, there's another one. Jeez. Yeah. I'm in the prone position, so I'm feeling full sniper mode as well. Okay, I see it. Kill shot. Nice. Do you know what? Oh, there goes another one. Great ahead of me. Oh, yeah, I see um. it. Kill shot. <laughs> nice. I was just about to say, too. I am so much more deadlier with the 270 than I am with the uh, 7mm. Um, I like the 270. That's what I. Yeah, it's use. a really nice rifle, isn't it? Like it's a, it, it's obviously. It's a, a, yeah, it's all around rifle. It's, it's a nice caliber. It's good for killing. I mean, the the fox, you're not going to get any in, kill integrity for it or hunting integrity. It's still a little OP, but it's a well balanced weapon where you can take down anything with it, even up to a bison. <clears throat> oh, is it? Is it really be. still a little bit too powerful to take a fox down with? Yeah, yeah, the fox, it's, it's, you know, I can get any integrity for it. <clears throat> All right, so what do we get? We get a female, 8.79 kilograms, trophy rating 8, quick kill bonus, integrity, yeah, you're right, nothing on the integrity. Consecutive, 40, okay, though, I still got 1,200 in cash, though, I mean, it's always, like we've always said from the start of making these videos, but it's always good collecting those foxes and uh, coyotes up. Yeah, I mean, even the black tail, you don't get any integrity for it. It's the starting at the white tail, I think. What, with the 270? Yep. That I did not know. 
So red fox, coyote, roe deer, fallow deer, and black tail are all out. There's the second one. This one was a male. 8.57. Fur type common. Difficulty medium. Trophy type. It's all down to weight. 8 trophy rating. Quick kill. Nothing on integrity again. And I got less cash for that one. Okay. Well, I'll take it. All right. What time are we on right now? It's now half past four in the evening or in the afternoon. So, I mean, in terms of how today's gone... That's pretty much as good as it's going to get in terms of what we're going to find. I mean, we found a couple of pigs. We found a deer that we took down. A couple of um, of foxes. But I suppose that's just how it goes sometimes in hunting. There's just not that many animals in order for mm -hmm. you just to pick and choose what it is you want to take down. Depends on the weather in real life, you know, and how hot it is. If they're going to stay, just bunker down in the woods. Yeah. So, just to let you guys know as well, like I said at the very beginning of the episode, there is going to be a big, big update coming to the Hunter Call of the Wild, and me and Taco are definitely going to be checking it out, especially seeing as though that you can see all of the green on this map. There's probably going to be one episode. I don't know if we can squeeze it into one. It may go over two episodes, but we're pretty much going to be going throughout the whole of the map, finding everything together that either Taco hasn't claimed or I haven't claimed. So, everything you see here that's green we're probably going to be going through it. Either that or I'm probably going to stream it. So if you're not following my Twitch channel, links will be down there in the description. I really recommend if you like this sort of stuff, you go over there, click follow, and then keep up to date when I go live. But another thing, guys, that I do want to say before I end this episode is I have noticed that a lot of you have been... Wait, what's that on the hill? It's a bush. I actually thought that was another fox. I thought it was going to get the triple. But I have noticed, guys, that there's been a lot of love shown towards this series. And I just wanted to take the time to say thank you so much. And I do appreciate all the kind comments and all the support on the video so far on the channel. So there's definitely going to be more of the Hunter. Today wasn't one of the more fortunate days where we got to take down a whole host of animals. But either way, thank you for joining me again, Taco. Not a problem. Anytime, buddy. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, drop a like below. And we'll see you all in the next one. 360 no scope. <laughs> you do it again. Every video. <laughs> <laughs>